Hi there. Now here we have a question working on arithmetic sequences. So if you'd like to uh, have a moment to read this question, if you haven't seen it before, and give it a go, I'll just give you a moment then to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So to do something like this, what I'd want to do is just set out my years. Okay, we've got 2000, 2001, 2002, and so on. And this is going all the way up to the year 2007. And we know that in the year 2000, 150 computers were sold. So I just put 150 there. And then it went up by 10 each year. So we had here 160 in 2001, 2002, 170, and so on. Now, I suppose I could just write in all the numbers up to 2007, but I don't think that's what they're after here. This particular series of numbers is an arithmetic sequence, as they say here. And we should be familiar with the formula that the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is the first term, a, plus the number of terms, n, minus 1, times the common difference, d. And we can see that if we take the first term as being 150, in other words, a equals 150, the common difference, d, is that each term goes up by 10. So d is equal to 10. And so if I'm looking for 2007, this is the eighth term. OK, you can see that for the 0, that becomes the 1. When you've got a 1 there, it's the second term. 2, it's the third term, and so on. So that when we get the 7 there, this is the eighth term. And so in order to work out the eighth term, all I need to say is when n equals 8. When n equals 8, therefore we've got the number of computers. Just put an intro here. The number of computers sold okay, in 2007, well, that's going to be A, which is 150, plus N minus 1, so that's going to be 8 minus 1, times the common difference, which is 10. And if you work that out, you end up with 220. Now, this is not the only way of going about this question. You could do it this way, okay? You could have said that the first term was 160. If you had said um, 2001 had a first term of 160, 2002 was 170 computers sold, then you can see that as we build our way up to 2007, and we're trying to find this value here, this will be the seventh term. Okay, seventh term. And so we could start using this formula with A at 160. Common difference will still be the same, but we're looking for the seventh term. So for that, when N equals 7, you've got the number of computers sold. I'll just put sold in 2007 because I haven't got much room here. It's going to be equal to the first term, which is now 160, plus n minus 1, 7 minus 1, times the common difference of 10. Work that one out and you'll still arrive at 220. So two ways then that you could tackle that question if you go through that formula there.